everyone. So because my audio wasn't very good on my previous videos, I'm hoping this one turns out a little bit better. I'm using a remote microphone, uh, a wired one, in with my phone. So uh, hopefully they can't tamper with that. So far it's been so good. Uh, we're going to explain here the making of uh, this is the third proper Tesla pancake coil in my device. I've demonstrated two. I still have many videos to upload. Uh, this coil, I basically just, uh, this is the stuff here. It's 14 gauge. I stripped the shielding off. And I just run this over the table. Kind of separate the two so they don't get twisted. And uh, I just turn this. Right? I turn it, I turn it, I pull it tight, I go about a full lap, and then I glue it. As it gets bigger, I go about three quarters of a lap and put a drop of crazy glue. You can see where I've placed it. And then uh, I've done four of those, roughly. And then when I get so far, I put another one in between the two. To glue it, I uh, wind this real tiny at the start, as small as I can. Uh, find the diameter I want. I don't glue the first about three laps. I leave them loose and I fix those afterwards. And the same with these. Once the conductors end on the outside of the spiral, I'll just fasten a drop of glue, bend the tip up, and the same with the other one. So uh, there's just a video of basically how it's wound. I'm using two-face carpet tape just on a piece of cardboard. You can see I've used this several times to make coils. And I just put another layer over top. Once it's glued, I bend the cardboard and pry the coil off. And if it gets a little bent or disformed, I just flatten it out and put a couple more drops of glue. All right, that's it. This is a properly wound Tesla by Filer pancake coil. Ciao.